Hello everyone. Welcome to Pragmatic Ideas. Ideas that work. This is an interesting story about the son of a lowly shoemaker, Pietro Aratino, who bought himself power, influence and the life of his dream from scratch by using money strategically. Aretino was looking for a patron who would give him a comfortable lifestyle without interfering with his work just like any other Renaissance artists. In 1528, leaving Rome, he established himself in Venice where few had heard about him. He had a fair amount of money saved up but little else. Soon after he moved to his new home, he threw open his door to rich and poor, providing them meals and entertainment like the rich and the aristocrats. He befriended with each and every gondolier, tipping them royally and gave his money liberally to beggars, orphans and washerwomen. The word spread quickly among the common people that Aretino was not just a great writer but a man of power a kind of lord. Soon, artists and men of influence began to frequent his house. Wealthy merchants, popes and princes, kings and queens started competing against each other to gain his favor, thinking that he is a man of influence as he spent money freely and soured Aretino with all sorts of gifts and money. His generosity had cost him some of his savings but had bought him influence and good name, a cornerstone in the foundation of power. But Aretino did not stop there. He wanted real money and power, not gifts or measly wages. He wanted a great patron's bottomless pocket. After surveying for the possibility, he set his sights on the extremely wealthy Marquis of Mantua and wrote an epic poem dedicated to Marquis and decided that he is going to offer it as a gift, implying by doing so that he was not a hired hack looking for a stipend but that he and Marquis were equals. He also convinced two of his closest friends, sculptor Jacopo Sansovino and painter Titian, to participate in this gift-giving scheme. As Aretino studied and knew Marquis' tastes inside and out, he advised both of them what subject matter would please him and all of them together sent gifts like sculpture, painting and poem that really pleased him. Over the few months, Aretino sent lots of other gifts that he knew Marquis prized. Soon all of them started receiving gifts from Marquis and the strategy went further. When son-in-law of a friend of Aretino's found himself in jail in Mantua, Aretino was able to get the Marquis to arrange his release. By doing so, Aretino bought his friend's indebtedness too and he in turn would help Aretino whenever he could. The circle of influence was growing wider. Now, when the relationships between Aretino and Marquis started fading, he simply withdrew himself from Marquis' circle and hunted for other wealthy prey, settling first on the French king Francis, then the Medicis and others. In the end, having many patrons meant that he did not have to bow to any of them and his power seemed comparable to that of a great lord. So we can learn three key properties about money from this simple story. It has to circulate to bring power. By keeping money in constant circulation, Aretino bought an ever-expanding circle of influence that in the end more than compensated him for his expenses. What money should buy is not lifeless objects but power over people. Aretino understood the key property of gift. To give gift is to imply that you and the recipient are equals at the very least or that you are the recipient's superior. A gift also involves an indebtedness or obligation. When friends for example offer you something for free, you can be sure that 
they expect something in return and that to get it they are making you feel indebted. The mechanism may or may not be entirely conscious on their part but this is how it really works. Remember, money may determine power relationships but those relationships need not depend on the amount of money you have. They also depend on the way you use it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of our upcoming videos.